Yo, 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 the Grimway family actually showing real life to spend social media feeding us all that real hype We just some real guys trying to give some high definition to reality Family acrobatically juggling lies Smoking in crash to avoid eternal casualty trust It ain't easy, but team won't make the dream work It's me, Ella, Hesse, Hosanna, Harper and Halle And I ain't forget that has a ride to the family Hey guys, we are back. Um, I hope you're having a good day. We are, yeah. we're having a good day, aren't it girls? Yeah. yeah. And a part of that reason as well is because you guys are just helping us to soar. You're helping us to fly. I believe I can fly. And you guys are making that come true. Thank you so, so much for hitting that subscribe button because we are now at 78,000 subscribers. That is where we are at present. Thank and then every time the video comes up, thank you guys. it's even higher, so thank, thank you. you. Like girls are saying thank you so much we love you and we appreciate you and i hope you can feel the love as i said before through the screen <laughs> um yes. so yep that's right in it yeah so um guys basically usually when we are especially going out of the weekend i like to try and shampoo the girls hair like once a week at least so last night i thought i would shampoo their hair because um we're going out in a couple of days time in fact tomorrow we're going out and um, I want their hair, their curls to look fresh, I want their hair to be nice and clean because sometimes the build up of whatever I've put in it in the week can make it look not as clean and fresh. So that's the reason why I washed their hair last night. Yeah. So throughout the week I've been keeping their hair in like protective styles with it wound up. So what's that Bubba? Um, and if you put um, twisters in our hair, I wash did. that out. And she put water on her hair. Yeah. And she just cleaned it out. There you go. She's explained it. You've done my job for me. Thanks, girl. <laughs> So yeah, I basically, I had their hair in protective styles and I've just been twisting them into little buns basically. So I just had to undo those four on each of their heads last night. And um, I gave them a little bit of a head massage as I did it, just because I've been told, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've been told that when you massage the scalp, it helps stimulate hair growth. And uh, I think it's good for your scalp. And also you girls just actually enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Especially. Especially Miss Hosanna Hosanna over there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just did that before their shower. Um, they won't. I, I tend to do their hair at night time because I find that in the mornings we don't always actually have enough time to shampoo their hair all the time. And I know everybody has different ideas about shampooing hair at night and going to bed with hair wet or even damp. And there is some science behind whether it's good or not good or blah blah blah. But as I say, I'm not a hairdresser, so this is just what we do and what has kind of worked okay for us. It hasn't seemed to have. Have had any detrimental effect on the girls and their hair so yeah that's just do you know what I mean do what works for you but yeah so basically I, I washed their hair I shampooed it with this um twisted sister shampoo so it's a sulfate free shampoo um and again I've heard I've not looked into the science of it but that's better for your hair I will find time at some point in my life to look into the reasons why we do the things we do but at the minute it's just what we do <laughs> Um, so I shampooed it in the shower and yeah, it was a bit awkward because at the minute our shower hose in our upstairs bathroom um, is not working. So I would usually obviously shampoo their hair over the bath, but we just had to have them kneeling over the shower because I couldn't do it in the bath and I couldn't do it in the shower because all the, if they were actually having a shower because of all the water had been coming out on me. So I just got them to kneel over the shower and I just shampooed their hairs obviously one at a time. Um, with Hallie's hair, I think, I don't know if you know this, but if you shampoo your hair and it the, it doesn't foam up straight away, it obviously means that your hair is um, dirty or it's got lots of grease and stuff in it. And I found that I had to shampoo Hallie's hair about three times, two or three times, in order to actually make the shampoo foam up. And that way I knew, okay, it's clean now. But I think with Harper and Hosanna's, I didn't have to do it as many times. So I shampooed it. I actually didn't put any conditioner on it in the shower, but I made sure that I moisturized it well once I, once they got out there, shut the shower and the hair was still wet. Um, I, just, I just got the excess um, water out of their hair with their towels um, and again I mean I try not to rub their hair too much with their towels because I think the towel fibers are too um, harsh on your hair so I've been told this is going to be the theme of the video so I've been told <laughs> and basically once they came upstairs to their rooms they'd obviously got into their pajamas and everything I just um, used like an old 
t-shirt you could use i think it was just an old t-shirt dress that i used just to squeeze the excess water out of their hair and um, before i applied some twisted sister curl activator moisturizer i think it is forgive me if i haven't got the name correct uh, exactly correct and then after i've done that i tried to detangle their hair with my fingers this time starting at the ends and then working my way up and and then obviously i went through it with the brush or the tangle teaser once i knew that most of the knots had come out um then i split their hair into four parted their hair split their hair i mean i want to split up your hair <laughs> i just parted their hair into four and did like little buns um on each of their hair just so that as they went to bed I'm hoping that it's kind of like kept their hair nice and curly without it going too messy or getting um, too rubbed up against the pillow and obviously I tied each of their hairs with a headscarf just to protect it overnight um, and yeah so I'm going to be basically undoing their hair now and putting it back up into the little four um, I don't know if you want it's not band two knots because I put a hair band in it but it's similar so I just kind of twisted it around into little buns um, yes yeah, so that's what I'm going to do in a minute and obviously as well as I said our mornings are usually quite a rush and this morning when we got up we was dropping Hezzy to Cobham because we was meeting his team there because he's going to St George's to play with Chelsea versus some other teams I think he's playing I know Man United is one of them I can't quite remember all the others there's a lot to keep up with in our lives <laughs> right, who's going to pray guys? Dear Lord, thank you that God made us and thank you that he made water um, and thank you that God made a lovely mum and dad for us guys um, and thank you that they made, God made children for our mummy and daddy and thank you. Hope Hezzy gets loads of girls today in Jesus' name. But yeah, so we did that this morning. So unfortunately, my eldest son's not here right now, but he's off doing his thing. So I'm going to get on with doing the girl's hair now, just styling it for the day. Oh, doesn't. Oh, Hello. Can I find you? Okay. No, but you can sit where you are. Don't you want it to go youngest or oldest? Not really, but if you really want to, you can go. Are you, you know to... what? To be honest, Mummy's going to decide anyway. Okay. <laughs> there you so go. You're it's, going it's, next. It's, it's half of this going first. Yeah. And then I think I'll do oh, Hallie. And then I'll do her down last. Cool. Sad <laughs> days. Sad days. It doesn't Mommy. matter who goes. Who goes not when. It's not sad days for Harper, apparently. No, it's not okay. sad days. Not, not sad days for me. me. No. Yes. Not That's sad days. Good, this is uh, by a company called Phyto Specific. I think it's called phyto specific can you see that right there um and it's a sheer butter leave-in and i've just found that rather than using the gel in their hair this week as much as it is quite oily it does um yeah work well in their hair so i'm just going to use a little bit of that as i slick their hair into the buns mm -hmm. um yeah so hi harper your hair stayed, stayed quite well overnight so that's your one i mean also i Thank think this can also garden. work for people that have straight hair if they want to curl their hair overnight because mm -hmm. you know we all want what we don't have and straight hair people straight haired people want curly hair and curly haired people want straight hair you know everyone thinks the grass is green on the other side all that, yeah. <laughs> but yeah so as we teach the girls we just love what we have isn't it yeah yeah but then at the same time it's not a problem to try something different if you feel like it Absolutely. um okay so i've taken your four elastics out look boing boingy curls this would be so pretty to leave out but yeah we're not leaving it out and no 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 don't spoil yeah. the don't spoil the partings i want the partings to stay madam please so your hair is fully dried i'm going to put a little bit of this in i'm just going to put a little bit in the roots of each one of these i don't really need to use too much oil or grease on harper's hair just because of the way her hair is i'm going to get the bristle brush and just brush it up into four for you hopefully it will stay for the rest of the day depending on how many cartwheels and roly polies and stuff you didn't decide <laughs> to do on yeah. okay yeah exactly yeah and then my start my hair oh there you go it's all good you're having fun huh sometimes you do need to retwist them in the day but i try not to put any hair clips in it they just stay themselves if you just twist it round and literally tuck it in there we go that's one done pretty princess <laughs> as much as this is quite quick to do 
Imagine I still didn't have time this morning to even do it. Harps, face the front please darling. Thank you baby girl. But I must say, when you have so many heads of hair to do, uh, the quickness is very important is mm. because the time just goes. Mm. Disappears. Yeah, it does, it does disappear. I think I've only recently realised how long it takes me to do their hair because so many times Tim would say, are we ready to go? I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I've just got to do, so, do the girl's hair. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh my gosh, we've got, we should have gone like 15 minutes ago. And then after a little while, I've just been like, okay, it actually takes me about half an hour to do everybody's hair, not like 10 minutes like I thought it did. And also, may I say that you look like a ravishing beauty and you ain't got a spot of makeup on oh, you. Oh, thank you, darling. pretty, pretty girl. Thank you very much. Mm -mm. I think you'll buy it. Yo, baby, why I did it? Is it Harper? Face the front, darling. All right. Oh, Zana, could you just go and um, have a look on Hazariah, please, for a sec, because he's just woken up, I think. Okay, I'm almost done with yours, Harps. Just got to twist this one and then put one more into a bun, okay? Last one to put in. There we go. Harpsy Lapsy. You have one pretty head of hair. That is you done. What do you think, guys? Put it in the comment section below. Excuse me, Mum. Yes, um, Couldn't you put, like, some curly kids in my hair? I could put some curly kids in your hair, but I, I don't know. I've just used these the last couple of days, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to get the brush? Your hair is so pretty, Hallie. Of course it is. Your hair is so very, very pretty. Sometimes your partings do mess up a little bit, so I'm just going to redo them with my fingernail. As you can Trips see, right? Of the tray. Okay. Okay. I think that's neat enough. All right. And again, I'm only taking a very little bit of this sheer butter, and in fact, I'm going to scrape a bit off because Hallie's hair really doesn't need too much oil. So I'm just going to take a bit off my hand because I put a little bit too much. Just as long as it's kind of on my hands a bit, like you can hardly even see anything. But I'm just going to do a little bit on each section in her hair. Huh? It's not even coming out, it is having an effect. By the time I brush it, it will just help to uh, keep the little flyaways in place. Yeah, Excuse me, mommy. Yes, Baba. Where's like kind of creamy stuff made out of for your hair? Do you know what? I don't know. You should ask Auntie Frida. Ask Auntie Frida. Big up Curly Proverbs. Yeah, aka Curly Proverbs, who is a good friend of ours. She is actually godmother to all of our children. Yes. And she has an amazing <laughs> hair channel. She's got some she, well, she's got some amazing crazy hair as well, mane she? of hair. <laughs> And she's got some fantastic videos on beast mode hair growth and stuff like that. Yeah, and she's because, also just like a science wizard. Yeah, she's a science teacher. So she, uh, yeah, knows her stuff, I'm telling you. And to be honest, you know what? Frida didn't always have a big head of hair. Her hair was like here and over about four or five years. I don't know exactly the number. I may be making it up. But over a period of time, if you visit her channel, you'll see what she says in her hair growth video. Her hair is like literally yeah, down her back. It's, it's mad. And she's had it recently trimmed as well. So, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Guys, this is Hosanna and there's a straight girl here. And the girl with straight hair is me. Okay, Mommy your, your hair's straighter and... I was ask her more curly. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So it's is. true. <laughs> I mistakenly bought a. All your hair sister. is wonderful. Sorry, babe. Yeah. All your hair All is your beautiful. Hairs. All your hairs are beautiful. Go for it, babe. Um, so um, she's saying I mistakenly bought another moisturizer, but it was actually it was a twisted sister one, but it was actually for blow drying your hair straight. Uh -huh. So no. that one's in the gotcha. cupboard, not being used. No. So that's one of yours done. I can imagine that, like for going to school, maybe and stuff like this. Just an easy hairstyle must be so easy. Obviously, our kids don't go to school and um, they are homeschooled, but still, it is good to not have to spend ages in the morning doing hair. Very true. Because time is something you can never get back. And as much as doing hair and playing with hair is fun, there are other things in life that we also need to get done, like schoolwork <laughs> and people true. getting their breakfast and stuff like that in the mornings. So, this is your third one that I'm now doing. Yep. And this is gonna be my last one. Mm -hmm. The next one is going to be your last one. Just tucking those ends in. I don't even really think I need to brush it too tough. And also I just think the little girls as well, as much as they like to have their hair in, say a ponytail or some up and some down, it is cute while you're young 
to have your hair in like lots of little bunches and whatnot. It's very cute and you can get away with it when you're a little girl. Hallie, your um, hair is done. That was my last one. I'm done now. You're done? You were done. Yep. All right, right my G. I'm going to go and get her. Uh, are you going to look, you gonna oh, look after your brother? Yep. Okay, you go and look after your brother. Oh, uh, Harper, you going to help as well? Yeah. Go on then, babe. All right. And now we have Hosanna. this ravishing beauty. Hosanna, was it comfortable sleeping with your headscarf last night? Um, not really, because I felt like when I tried to sleep on like my front like that, my uh, the headscarf bit at the top kept on pushing into my head. Oh, okay. But I think by the time you got up this morning, I think your scarf was no longer on your head. But yeah. yeah. We just retied it when we went out. Look at these boingy curls. Mm. Spring, spring, spring. They're lovely. Oh, look, your hair is beautiful, Hosanna. Look mm -hmm. at this. Okay, right. I'm going to do the same on Hosanna's hair. I'm going to use a bit of the leave in sheer butter and a bit of the twisted sister. And especially when I'm trying to not use like too much product in your hair. Mm -hmm. That obviously means it's going to try and jump and do its own thing. Uh, okay, cool. That's a bit of the moisturiser from the Twisted Sister range in your hair. Then I'm going to put a little bit of the leave-in sheer butter in your hair as well. Twisted Sister. My mummy's been using these products in your hair. Has it, it hasn't felt too greasy on your head or anything, has it? No, okay, I haven't good. felt anything. Okay, good. Wonderful. You know what I've always loved on Hosanna, like the baby hair, like the baby hair yeah, fringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, beautiful. I think it's so cute. It is very much so. What this bit? Yeah, the, that's right. The little bits Take there. The little crown you, of hair. you know, back in my day, right, <laughs> back in the olden days, um, when I used to go to school, like, all, especially all the white girls, <laughs> they used to like gel out like a little bit, like here, just just like what you got, but to to make this artificially oh and like yeah, there was a there was a hairs. style oh, yeah right, like, okay slick down to your head top <laughs> yeah trust me and um oh, and like all of their hair like like super producted really like yeah super wow. down gelled down to the head and that like i say see that was something that naturally was there on some of the girls and That's then it wasn't there on some of the other girls but they wanted it you always want what you don't have isn't it all right let's brush yours into place put it in one well, not in one, but this section in one. Almost done. Try to be as gentle as I can. I want to know why you're so pretty. Why? Because God made me that way. Mm hmm. Amen, girl. Amen. Yeah, it's a good answer. He sure it's did. Very true. And mummy's beautiful, so. This is also a fact <laughs> of life. Well, yeah. What about daddy? <laughs> um, for the boys, yeah, but not me. Oh, okay, cool. All but right. it took Daddy he and gave, Mommy. He gave me the coolness, but... All oh, right, my G. <laughs> Touch me now. <laughs> I love uh, that. So what, Mummy's not cool? Hey, you just do the hair. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you just do the hair, because you're getting the, the beauty part. Oh, I'll get part. the beauty, okay. I can't, no, I can't jump in on your let part, Let me no. just get the cool part. No? Yes, darling. No, you're very, you're very ladylike, and then Daddy's very man-like. Oh, that's that's right. What that do you think? Is that the way, way it should be? Yes. All right, my G. Look at these curls, guys. Look at these curls. Beautiful. I'm trying to shake without messing up my partings. Beautiful, beautiful curls. Mm. Right. I was going to say you can't buy them, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you remember when, uh, when, uh, when we first got married? Or maybe it was before we got married and you'd meet me one day. My hair would be one way. And then like you drop me home late at night. And then the next morning or, or day when we'd it see each other, you'd be like, your open. hair's changed. You're like, what? And I'd say, and you go, oh, what? You went to the hair shop? I said, no, I just found some <laughs> I just found some oh, that, yeah, in the yeah, bottom yeah, of my yeah. wardrobe. Because <laughs> I used to have like bundles of hair that were left over and I'd just <laughs> make them into something <laughs> new, don't. Well. Wow. What, there you go. do you mean like leftover hair from like the pools that was No, 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 extension. Oh. No, 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 oh. hair that you bought. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hair that I'd bought. So there you go. As Daddy said, you can't buy this hair. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what my favourite story was? <laughs> was was when, um, basically, when we had started living together, um, like, obviously, we got married first. We didn't rush. Um, but, yeah, and... Um, I went into the closet or the wardrobe or whatever you call it, wherever you are, and um, I was like, sorry, what? 
and there was like just hair, like just a, a, an accumulation of hair. Like, and I was just like, I it, I was not ready for it, boy. I jumped a mile. I was like, uh, um, I said, babe, uh, what's going on in it? And she, oh yeah, it's just you know, just some of my hair. I was like, why is it not on your head? You did know. It's just you're usually a bit pre ward about hair extensions. They weren't just hanging out in the bottom of your wardrobe. Yeah, usually. Well, that's it. That's it. Because <laughs> obviously, when when we started living together after mm-hmm. we got married, I did obviously re jig the way you used to keep your clothes and where things oh, went. Because yes, obviously, did. I had to make space for my stuff, like my hair. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think I said, "Oh, by the way, my extensions are in the bottom of the wardrobe." So. As with anyone who knows about extensions or doesn't know about extensions, whatever, if there's a bundle of hair in a place where you don't expect it to be, the first thing you think is, oh my gosh, she's an animal. <sighs> but there you go. We're almost done with all your little buns. I'm going to put a little bit of moisturiser on the ends of your hair here, Bubba Lubba. <clears throat> there we go. And I'm going to twirl that round. And try and wind it in the way that it naturally wants to sit. And there we go. You have four little buns. Wow, Yay! all done. done. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> As I said before, I've just been trying to practice putting the hair in more protective styles because since I first, you know, kind of was doing the video with doing their hair, I've been wanting to get into looking after their hair more well before that really but i'm trying to actually take the time to looking after their hair a bit more and Mm -hmm. yeah it's a journey isn't it you kind of learn what works what doesn't work but this week i just thought let's just put their hair in some buns and just see how it goes and it seems to be working fine don't you think um yeah so thanks guys we love you very very much i hope it works for you if you try it (laughs) let us know in the comment section below (laughs) take care so you think you were right Bring it up, bring it up, bring me around